were just discussing that I have Chelsea's phone number memorized and she does <gasps> not have mine memorized. Follow me. She got me a bracelet engraved with her phone number because I kept getting lost at bars. Oh, <laughs> <geez. laughs> we just wrapped our podcast. Look at these lights, you guys. Oh, so they're new, new. Yeah. Oh, wow. Also, you guys are repping um, the Phoenix Suns. <gasps> we are. We came And we are, are huge Suns, Suns girlies. Booker, spicy yeah. broccoli. <laughs> spicy broccoli. Go get it. Huge D, D book girlies over here. We're going to go maybe get his salad from Sweet Green. Look at what I'm looking at right now. Okay, there's no, there's no music. i got to hurry so I don't get demonetized. Taking the first bite of the salad. Delicious. LA girlies. Our outfits are cute today. I know. They're, they're kind of this, um, the what same vibe. They vibe together. Is it because we've been um, taking that girl's advice on TikTok? And, yes. And we're finding our personal styles? Yes. Okay, so we just got some matcha from Sun Life because it was right next to Sweet Green and we forgot about, well, I, I'm speaking for myself. I like forgot that Sun Life existed and also that it was so close because I feel like where do we usually go when we come to LA? Chacha Matcha, mm -hmm. Alfred. For food or for oh, drinks? So good. Um, both. Also, um, like Monty's or what's the other one we like? The burger place mm, that's really no, good? No Moo. No Moo. That place is so good. But the best matcha that I've had to date. Sun Life Organics Matcha with extra coconut cream. And so we get it with good. oat milk. It's so good, you guys. I'm gonna be up all night. <laughs> it's literally 5 p.m. Bye. Good morning. Just got done with hot yoga. I am sweating to death. Um, did an early morning yoga class. Deeply, deeply regretted the matcha that I drank at like five, between five and six p.m. I didn't even drink close to the half, th close to the whole thing. Like I drank literally this much, but I was up till one a.m. and I already had a yoga class scheduled for six. I am very tired and I also just feel overwhelmed because I have a very busy day today. Like today's probably the busiest day of my week. And of course it's the day that I got no sleep and then did like a very early morning workout. I'm debating whether to, I, do you guys love how my, my vlog is just my internal dialogue. I'm always like, I'm hungry. I just had caffeine. I'm tired. You guys are probably like, we get it. Like show us something cool. But anyway, that's my life today. So I need to go home and shower. I was gonna go to this little breakfast place right here because I just wanted to grab something quick. Like if they have like little overnight oats or something like that, but it is not open. So, um, and it's not gonna be open for another like 20 minutes and I don't really just wanna sit here and wait. So I think I might, I don't know. I need to find breakfast or go home, maybe make a smoothie or something. And then we'll see where the day, the day takes us. I have a podcast interview with Chelsea. We're like being on someone else's podcast just remotely. So we'll be recording that at my house. And then, oh my gosh, how could I forget? Like something very, very exciting is happening today, you guys. So I am not gonna be able to go because I have some work stuff, like I was mentioning the podcast and some other stuff, but we found a vintage car that we are obsessed with and obviously we don't know 100% if we're gonna buy it because we need to go look at it. Well, again, I can't even go, but I trust Leif and he's gonna bring Keaton and they're gonna go look at it, make sure it's like in great condition and that we really want it, but we've seen like a ton of photos of it and we, as you guys know, have been wanting a second car like for a while now. We've shared one car our entire marriage basically, so for like six years now. And there have just been like a lot of times recently when it's inconvenient because we, I don't know, I feel like we used to do even more together. Like we, Life and I do work together, but now we just kind of have like our own hobbies and our own people that we hang out with. And it, it's just like, gets annoying sometimes when, for example, like if I want to go to a yoga class, but then he wants to go surfing, like Keaton will have to pick him up. I don't know. It's just stuff like that that it would be so nice to have two cars. So we've been debating for a while whether we want to get like a new car in addition to the Jeep, if we wanted to sell the Jeep and get two new, like we don't know what we want to do. The only, also the reason that like I keep mentioning that we were potentially gonna sell the Jeep or whatever, even though we really like this car, is that it's just a good time in general, or so I hear, to sell cars because you can just like get more for them now than you used to be able to get for them because of I don't know what. I'm not gonna pretend I know anything about that, okay? but. That's what I hear. So we're like, oh, should we sell it then? The whole point of me saying all this is that we thought it would be so fun 
since now we live in like a beach town to get like a vintage car to just kind of whip around, you know, our neighborhood, the beach, go to the beach and that type of vibe. And also because the cars in that price range are much more affordable. Like they're not, you know, insanely expensive as like a brand new nice car or something, you know, current car is what I'm trying to say. Anyway, so we have been looking at different vintage cars and Leif, um, is always like on the hunt and he'll show me photos and stuff and all of them that he's found I'm like oh yeah it's like cool it's cool I mean all vintage cars are just cute right and there's so many good ones out there this one like really stood out to him and he showed it to me and literally immediately I was like yes like that is the one we I want that one like actually really bad and it just feels very our vibe I don't know how to explain it but basically he's gonna go see it and possibly like buy it today so we might have a new car by the end of the day, I don't know, but I'm freaking out because obviously it's been a long time coming, we've been like just researching and like really waiting to find the right one. Obviously it's a big purchase so we're not just gonna be like, oh yeah, that one works. Yeah, we've gone through so, like we've just seen so many different ones that were like, oh maybe, maybe, and this one we're just like, yes, like that is perfect for us. It feels just like it's the vibe, you know what I'm saying? So, and it's also like, I, again, I don't, I don't know anything about cars, but it's like, low miles pristine condition has had the same owner its whole life like whatever I keep referring to it as like a person I literally go what year was she born to, about the car Life's like she was made in whatever anyway so we're trying to figure out like what to name her yes it's a girl obviously she's perfect and can't wait to show you guys literally might be able to show you today definitely in this vlog though I need to go eat that was a hard class I'm feeling woozy just made a little protein smoothie. Water, vanilla protein, frozen berries, a little bit of frozen mango, flaxseed, hemp seed, spinach. Did I already say spinach? That's it, let's see how it is. Delicious. I'm wearing my aloe bra that I've been telling you guys about lately. And then just the matching shorts. It's like the airlift set. I'm obsessed with it. Airlift? I don't know. I'll link it below for you guys. Hello? Hey, baby. Hey. Sorry, it's been a whirlwind. What's the deal? What's the update? She's ours. Really? Yeah. It's oh in my, my perfect condition. <gasps> That's so exciting. The guy is super cool. We drove it down the road. Mm -hmm. And then tried to put it into reverse and I could not figure out how to put it into reverse. So Keaton got out of the car and pushed it. Oh my God. And then we got back to the house and he's like, oh yeah, it's a little tricky. I have to push this in and whatever. I showed Chelsea a, pic a picture of it and she's like, she's like, that is so you guys. Like, she's like, that is just perfect for you. Like, it's everything I would expect and I was like I that's how we feel like right when we saw it we just knew I just made pasta with this truff sauce pasta sauce black truffle pomodoro Chelsea told me that I would like this she said you should get that this sauce you'll like it and I was telling her that I tried the hot sauce a while ago by the same brand and I didn't really like it and so I was like really like I didn't like their hot sauce and she's like no but the pasta sauce you'll like and I was like okay so I got it last time I was at the grocery store and I'm just now making or I just now made the pasta with it and I like barely like tasted it and it tasted really good already. So we're gonna do a full taste test. That is so good. Okay, I love it. Mmm. One thing about me, I love carbs so much. Pasta, bread, pizza, I don't care. Fries, like just give me everything like that. I love it. I'm so quirky. I'm just like really unique, you know, in that way. Maybe tomorrow. Oh my gosh, we just went on a ride, a little drive, and she is 
perfection. And we're gonna go to dinner right now. And we're taking the new whip. Good morning, my little angels. Um, I am looking for something to set you guys on. Cause I usually use my little matcha box to vlog. Because my tripod doesn't fit where I set you. <sighs> Hello guys, I just self-tanned my upper body. I put self-tanner on because Chelsea and I and Danny, well Danny's taking the photos, but we're doing a photo shoot today for something very exciting that I will show you guys in just a little bit. This is kind of like a fun vlog. I feel like a lot of exciting little things are happening. But last night we went to dinner with Delaney and Clayton. If you guys follow either of them on Instagram, they both do. Uh, Instagram and stuff and TikTok and all that and YouTube and it was so fun We've never hung out as a couple and it was just the vibes were um, The vibes were not after Mormon mom talk. We cannot say this was the vibes The vibes were chef kiss like it was it was a very um, Fun night with them and we're sad because they're going on a trip and then the day they get back We leave on like kind of a long trip. So we're not gonna see each other for like a month We both live so close to close to each other and it's just like perfect. We're so excited to start hanging out with them more. So anyway, we went to dinner and then I started my period actually. So I have just been like laying low today because I've been having bad cramps and I just like got my heat pack and have been laying in bed for the past hour. I took like a 20 minute nap, which I think I want to start taking um, power naps because I've taken two power nap naps recently, 18 to 30 minute long naps kind of game changing like I've, I've like actually felt very refreshed after doing that so I'm gonna give you guys a full car tour she's literally perfect like you guys this car was made for us I don't want to act like I don't know I don't want to like go um, make this like a deeper thing than it is but like the car is meant to be ours like that's just bottom line she's perfect she's everything and we're having so much fun we drove her to dinner we still haven't named her yet but we drove her to dinner last night and the weather was just so nice and the windows were down and it was literally perfect. And then we actually parked somewhere where we weren't supposed to park and the girl was like, oh, if you park there, you will like 100% get towed. And we were like, can you imagine if it got towed the day that we literally bought her? And also, you know what else is kind of cute is that we bought the car on June 1st. I just feel like that's like a, a good day. I don't know, everything's just lining up perfectly. I woke up today, even though I was on my period, Okay, this is like driving me insane, but whatever. I woke up today and I had this like overwhelming feeling of like, I'm living my dream life. Like I kind of just can't believe like this life that I'm living because it's everything that I've ever dreamed of. Like I can't explain, I can't explain in words, but like I just feel so lucky and so genuinely obsessed with my life right now that I'm like it kind of blew my mind like I woke up and I was like I have everything that I've like literally ever wanted and I'm just I feel so happy I don't know not just because of the new car like but that it was be, it's like I was telling you guys like I just felt like the car was meant to be everything is like flowing so well and I was just like I know life has its ups and downs but this is just one of those up moments that I want to remember you know what I'm saying I'm just happy. Just made my matcha. I put maple syrup and I do frothed oat milk, matcha powder, and maple syrup. It's so good. Also, you guys, I want to show you this because these just came in the mail and they came so much faster than I thought they were going to. I just ordered these hokas. Aren't they cool? Chelsea showed me this girl on TikTok that is, I think, a personal stylist, and I followed her. She has come up with this whole method of like finding your personal style. And so Chelsea and I have been doing it. We're gonna talk about it on the podcast in like a week or two. And basically you come up with three words that describe your what you want your personal style to be and then it makes like shopping easier and going through your closet easier because you're like does this fit the category of like my vibe anyway whatever so I think these are fitting my category right now because I like the little pop of orange and hokas are so so comfortable they rarely have them in stock I got these on Farfetch and again I was even shocked they had my size and that they came so fast, but I'm super excited to wear them. I'll show you guys how I style them at some point soon. Okay, are you guys ready for the very exciting little collab thing that we're doing for what we said that I've not been able to talk about for a while, but it's finally here. We're doing a little jewelry collection with Every Jewels, if you guys are familiar with them. They have the cutest stuff, and we were able to like design a bunch of like basically a little collection with them for what we said. I'm not wearing all the pieces, there's more than this. I can show you guys when Chelsea and I are together. Basically, we have these little friendship bracelets. There's 
um, one side that's pink and one side that's blue and you can either it comes in a set You can either get the set and wear them both yourself I actually need this is like not the best stack I just threw them on because we're gonna go shoot but I need to like take some off and anyway do different combinations But then we have this one that says bye in rhinestones and it's everything because you guys know we say bye all the time on the podcast um, and then we have this little awesome one this is awesome because also if you listen to what we said, you know we also say awesome all the time. So we have these three necklaces. Okay, these are like, see look how I did not stack them cute at all. Like I need to do them with the right um, lengths and all that stuff. But the blue one is so cute too, the little friendship one. And then we have this pink checkered little ring and this rhinestone heart ring which has like a little bit of pink within the heart it's kind of hard to see like on camera but in person it's really cute it's just like subtle pink and then my personal favorite piece that i think is so iconic and just like unique is this little ring which i might have a glare on it but it's basically the tongue out emoji the classic which i've never seen a ring like this before we designed it ourselves like we had them create with the tongue out. You know, I've seen smiley face rings, but you never see it with the tongue. So we created the smiley face ring, which is just everything and more. And then I'll show you guys, oh, that lady terrifying me. That means Danny's here. I'll show you more when we go. We at the photo shoot. I was just recording and it wasn't actually filming. So I, I've tried to do the marketing for this twice and I failed both times because when I was just showing you guys at my house, I was in a hurry and I just felt like the necklaces were like, I put them on super fast. I wasn't looking at the lengths. So here is them layered cuter. Okay, I have just the bi necklace, the friendship necklace, and then I have all the rings on as well from our collection. But I want to show you guys the pink and the blue heart together. Yeah, let's not talk about your thumbnail, Missy. Chelsea, text me. I'll forgive you one day. I'll find it in my heart to <laughs> forgive you one day for the thumbnail you just used. Can you guys see this? A perfect heart. Bye. Besties. Besties, look at Chelsea's nails for the photo shoot. They're so cool. Thank you, Kim from M Nail Bar. M Nail Bar, use code JC. <laughs> I just benefit from your yeah. nails. We both get our, all of us get, wait, show yes. us your nails, Danny. Cause hers are so cute too. Look at, look at all the nails today. Yeah, There's, your nails are so they're cute. They're so nice. fun. Ivy. Ivy at M Nail Bar. You can't go wrong with the girls You there. can't go wrong with anyone. Oh, that's just, please, please. <laughs> Fingers. But if you do mention all JC, so good. they will give you a discount. So go check them and out. And you can and just send me $5. <laughs> for the expertise. I just wanted to show you guys like the friendship necklace and all of it's just really cute. Chelsea, show them your, your nails because, or I'm sorry, your hands because you have the model hands I know, as we know. It's rough. It's a rough life for Chelsea. Um, they also come in silver. Yes, and we're gonna all change the into the silver right now and change outfits to take some photos and that we just um, took some pics outside. Of course, it's like the gloomiest day today. We love that. <laughs> Beautiful light yesterday and then today's been like the gloomiest day but it's fine, the photos yeah. will still be cute. Anyway, we gotta change. It's cold. We got the silver stack on now. I'm doing the silver by, the silver awesome, and the silver BFF, silver tongue ring, the whole the whole thing in silver. And Chelsea Whoa. got her silver <laughs> vibe on too. It's so cute. The silver's actually like picking up the light so pretty. It's like mm -hmm. glistening. Look how cute. Oh my. You guys want me to show you a trick? Yes, show the show the. Well, YouTube. I'm not gonna show you because it actually is kind of difficult. But pretty much, you clasp. <laughs> so they think you're Beth. They said, "I love you, Chelsea and JC and Beth." Beth, <laughs> like read the earrings. <laughs> Hello. We were in the middle teaching them a, a trick. Oh. Basically, you clasp them to the opposite end of the world. So like the um, this bi necklace and this friendship necklace, Chelsea clasped the bi necklace clasp thing to the loop of right yes. of the friendship necklace, and then so it then creates like this, this like pulley system. Look. <laughs> so then you can be like, oh okay, I want this one super short and this one super long. So you can layer your necklaces if they're not like the correct you know lengths that you would like them. So because these are all a little bit longer, but yeah. Anyway. Such a great little hack. We love that. Um, can I get a cheeseburger, please, with no tomatoes or onions? And can I get that cut in half? Of course. And then can I get a side of fries? 
Okay. Um, could I just get animal style fries? Perfect. I got the back angle. <laughs> it's been like 35 minutes. It'll be worth it in the long run. It's coming. <laughs> and it's not ours. <laughs> it's all my fault. He said we need the animal fry. Uh -oh. Bring him back up. Thank you. Thank you. Not him seeing me do this. Oh, oh that's good. Oh. That's good. Oh. Where are we going tonight, sisters? Oh. This is an awesome angle. Amigo. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Forces us to go to In and Out and then demands to take her home. Home. I did the trick that Keaton taught me. You get it cut in half. What? I've never heard of this. It just makes it so much easier to eat. Oh you know? Oh my gosh. I love that. There's so many things you could do at In and Out. Possibilities are endless. Mm -hmm. Okay, I wanted to end with a little car tour, and of course, I forgot my vlog camera memory card. I brought the camera, forgot the memory card. But I want to show you guys the car. Okay, here she is. We're about to go to dinner, but we just parked really fast. So, here's the inside of it. Look at this leather interior. So obsessed with it. Here's what it looks like when you're inside. Here's the interior. The leather is so beautiful. Here's the back seat, my purse, and my camera. We went to the beach earlier and I got some sand back here because I was sitting in the back. But anyway, and then it has this little cover that we can put over the entire thing. Here she is, our little rabbit. Here's what she looks like from the side. I love the shape and everything. Okay, we're gonna go to dinner. Um, I will show you, is there more to show? I don't know, I mean, you, you, you pretty much get the idea, you know? But I will maybe do a high definition car tour and show you guys more details when I have my actual vlog camera. But we're gonna be late park in a reservation, so you have to go. I'm gonna end this vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I feel like it's a very eventful week. Love you guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.